Hey folks, if you'd like to support me or this channel, Moose University, in creating more video tutorials, then please consider making a financial contribution at my website, MoofUniversity.com. Thanks and enjoy the video. Okay, so I want to begin our discussion here of lipids with a brief introduction. So what are lipids? One thing that I'll mention before we actually go into these notes is that lipids are one of the four classes of macromolecules. And a lot of the times, lipids, when people are asked, you know, what are lipids? They'll just answer, oh, lipids, those are fats. That's not really correct. I mean, there is some truth to it, but it's not correct. Fats are, can be classified, of course, under lipids, but not all lipids are fats. Lipids are molecules that are insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvents. So what does that mean? What kind of molecules are insoluble in water and soluble in organic solvents? Basically, it's molecules that are mostly hydrophobic or mostly nonpolar. Right? Because things that are nonpolar or hydrophobic don't dissolve in water, but they do dissolve or are soluble in organic solvents. Now, you'll notice that the word mostly here has an asterisk, and the reason why is that these molecules don't have to be entirely hydrophobic or entirely nonpolar. They can be amphipathic or amphiphilic. What that is basically saying, those terms are, defi are defined by the idea that uh, a molecule can contain both polar and nonpolar portions, or hydrophilic and hydrophobic portions. So that's what these, these terms refer to. So you might think to yourself, okay, we know what lipids are. Uh, what are the different functions of lipids? And the short answer is that they can vary widely. There's a bunch of different functions. For instance, one of them is that lipids can store energy. There are some that make up membranes. There are some that can act as hormones. And hormones are signaling molecules. Others play a role as key nutrients. I think some of the vitamins are, are lipids. But this, the nutrients bit, I'm not really going to talk too much about. But these, these other three here are definitely things that I'm going to mention in future videos. Okay, so now the question is, we know that lipids are one of the four classes of macromolecules. The other three being carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids. But what sets them apart from those other three classes? And there is something key here. And that is that there's no monomer polymer situation going on. If you recall, carbohydrates, right, the monomer units of carbohydrates are monosaccharides and the polymers are polysaccharides. In the case of proteins, the monomers are amino acids, the polymers are polypeptides, when of course when they fold can can become proteins or are called proteins. And then nucleic acids, their monomeric units are nucleotides. So what's going on with lipids? Well, lipids don't actually have that sort of situation going on. There aren't any polymer or uh, polymeric units or monomeric units, as you'll see when we discuss the structures of these different classes. Speaking of which, here they are. So one class is free fatty acids. So free fatty acids are actually the simplest lipid, and they're actually used for fuel. In fact, if you've watched the videos on uh, fatty acid oxidation or beta oxidation or fatty acid synthesis, uh, you can understand why this is the case. Spe well, specifically beta oxidation. Um, I'll probably have a link somewhere in an annotation <laughs> at this point. Um, okay, the next class is triacylglycerols or triglycerides. Those are used for fuel storage. We'll talk about the difference between being used for fuel and fuel storage. In fact, I'll even mention it now. Uh, free fatty acids can be directly oxidized in beta-oxidation to yield acetyl-CoA's that eventually give you energy. Um, whereas triacylglycerols and triglycerides, they actually are purely the storage form of energy. And we'll talk more about that later. Another class, or let's just go through all three of these classes here. Three are phospholipids, four we got sphingolipids, and then five here we got glycolipids. Um, so, so these three or I sort of group them together as membrane lipids. These can kind of be classified in a variety of ways, um, but they are all membrane lipids. Uh, phospholipids have phosphate groups, sphingolipids have a sphingosine backbone, 
glycolipids have uh, sugar moieties attached to them. We'll talk more about that in future videos. And the last one I've got here is steroids. And steroids are important in, um, in membranes, and they're also important as hormones or signaling molecules. So I hope that video was a helpful introduction. Thank you for watching. Yo, if you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And if you know anybody who might find the videos helpful, then please share it with them. Thanks. Happy studying.